Hello everyone, it's Anna from Anna's Paper Creations and I have a new project to share with you. And it's a double away <laughs> uh, envelope uh, mini album. So uh, things I used for this was uh, a French country and uh, I used both uh, 8x8 and 12x12 and also the 6x6 uh, paper pad. And um, for this I used uh, black policy envelope number one and uh, this I took apart and I also used some shipboard cutouts and cardstock uh, cutouts and uh, stickers and some metal uh, staples so um, so this is an album that can be opened from both sides so I just give you a quick overview around here so, for the site, and I also uh, did a tutorial on this, so I filmed it while I made it. So it will be a step-by-step -step, uh, how to make it. And in the first part I will show you how to uh, put the envelopes together. I got them apart, and um, for this album I used seven el envelopes, but you can use six if you like to, and just uh, take uh, out one of the pages. So, and here's the side and uh, something I added after I, uh, I uh, showed it in uh, the tutorial, so I will try to tell that. And that was this bow here, I put it on some twine here, just for decoration. And uh, this side here, and this uh, closes up with uh, magnets. So, and here I have some sharps. So uh, here is a rooster clock. I always like to have some clocks in my projects. And some uh, cardstock cutouts and some flowers. And this has layers of uh, six uh, layers of uh, clothing helmet multimat. And that I've done for other album uh, two layers. For, uh, so they will last a bit longer. And here is a floor de lis and uh, graphic 45 here. So then I will show you the front side here. So I did uh, try to record this before but it didn't uh, came up in my camera so I had to do it one more time. So I hope I did manage to put the tags back where they below so uh, you can see it. Uh, so maybe it's not exact as in the tutorial that I switched a couple of tags. But uh, yeah, <laughs> so uh, here are some magnets behind here and also here. So it opens with that. And here is a flap on the inside. And here is just for some journaling. And here you can put a tag behind if you like to. And uh, here I covered up the magnet with a sunflower. And this uh, sticker I also put on after. So just for some more decoration. So in the front here I used a Martha Stewart uh, punch, but if you don't have this punch I show you how to make uh, the grass without. And I just stuck in some tags here. So these tags I added later because when I cleaned up my room I found, find a few more tags. So this was in and also a small one that's on the other side. Show you that later. So this goes behind here. Like so. So now for the first page. So I'll try to get it in frame here. I think I have to show one page at a time here. So this is supposed to go in here with a magnet here. So here I use the banners and glued it on some uh, string, some jute string. And uh, this flips up and it's a magnet uh, that holds this tag. And here are some photo mats. And also in the first episode I show you the measurements for the photo mats and also for, uh, for um, um, the tags that goes inside. I forgot to show you this so I will do that. So here you can do some journaling and have a photo behind here. up again like so. So on the front side here 
this attack, like so. So here I use some stickers and some and fussy cutting. So also we try to tell you about uh, some other things you can use if you don't like the fussy cutting. So and this side is a slider and this opens, it's a magnet here. So you can do some journaling or place a photo behind or whatever. So this slides out and there is a tag behind. So some journaling and uh, so it's a, a lot of room for journaling and photos here. And um, here is a tag, so you can place a, a 4 by 6 photo. So that was uh, that side, I think. Yeah. And uh, for the back side here, I think I lost some tags out. <laughs> Um, tag envelope or coin envelope, so just a little tag inside and another tag. So these uh, paper lines are really easy to use if you don't like fussy cutting. It's so much uh, that uh, already has been done for you. So and another tag here. And this was blue so I just colored it in with black since I don't have so much blue here. And also a photo mat behind here. Like so. I think I stuck it in again so I know where to have it. And uh, on this side here I made a farmhouse. And um, this opens this way. And it's a tag inside here. And here I used, um, uh, here it says the French country. And here I used a spellbinder's die. And if you don't have this die, I made a fence on the other side on the front. So we'll show you how you can make a fence. Some fussy cutting and chicken and this girl is just gorgeous. I really love that image. So it's so fun to create with this paper. It's a bit vintage and rusty and yeah. Yeah, and I also inked it up with a vintage a photo. So here is a finish tag from the cardstock cutout and here is a flower and I'll show you a bit how you can bend your flowers in an easy way. So this goes inside a pocket here and also a finish tag here and here it was also blue so I just color around and the same tag here. And um, for the tag here and if you see on these tags here uh, what I cut off of the envelopes I used for the tags. So they are a bit wider on the top and I cut it down here a bit. So this is a stopper on the end so uh, it go, doesn't go all the way in uh, the envelope. So here I did some cutouts from the 12 by 12 paper and it's a place for some journaling. And on all the tags they are plain on the back so you can do journaling or play some photos. This is the last page on this side. So here I fussy cut around here. Um, the sunflowers. I really love these uh, flowers. They are beautiful. But if you don't like to fussy cut, you can just cut around and keep the red inside, or just color in with your marker, a bit black. So here are some tags again, and this opens, so you can place a photo inside here. Some more tags and a photo mat here. So and the last on this side here. Here I have a tag that's placed in under here with a magnet to hold this up. So and I can lift this up. It's a photo mat with a magnet inside here. So this goes behind here, like so. And here's that gorgeous girl again, and she's picking a sunflower. And the tag to go inside here is this one. 
so you can play some photos and the journaling. So that was that side, so now I will flip it around and show you the other side. So here, uh, I'm not sure what to call front side or back side here, and they are both uh, front and back, so you can choose. So I also plan to make a box, a special box to go in here, so um, yeah. So this opens here, and it's a place here for some photos. This can be taken out, like so. And also a tag on the side here, goes behind the rooster. And uh, here was a fence I was talking about that I will show you how to make. And uh, here's a water can and some chicken here and some cutouts, uh, sunflowers and this girl standing in front of her house and picking a flower. And a postcard inside here. There's a place for some journaling and just some tags. Like so. So this I also found later and took it in here. So this goes inside here. And it's a tag on the front here. And here I use some stickers and uh, shipboard and uh, some twine on the end. So. And uh, here I cut out uh, the inside here so it creates a frame. So uh, this can be tucked out. You can place a photo here and some journaling on the back. And uh, here's a little secret <laughs> room here, so it's a tag where you can also journal or put photos. So for the next page here is a coin envelope again and some chain. And this is a um, keyhole and a key here is from Graphic 45. So here's a, I can take it this first, so just some plain tags. Another photo mat, and this flips out like so. It's also a tag inside here. So this is also from the cutouts, really fun to use. And this is a shipboard and some metal brads here. So here you also can stack something under here, and you can also stack something under here, like so. And uh, for the tag here, this is just plain, I haven't done anything here, so you can place a photo and here is a shipboard with some twine again. So for the next page here I made a blue page, I really think this paper is beautiful so I had to have it in. <laughs> so um, this closes up here with uh, this uh, shipboard cut out. So here you can do uh, play some photo and it's a little tag behind here cut off the tree and some tags behind here and this uh, was uh, one piece um, from the 12 white wallpaper and I cut it apart like so because it's too high and then I had to place it this way so then you have two photo mats to go inside here so, and here is a flower from um, the cardstock cutouts. It was just to cover the back side of this uh, sunflower here. So and I will also show you a bit how you make these flowers really easy. So that makes it fun and fast to create. So here is a um, uh, photo mat or journaling and you can place a photo behind here as well. So goes inside here, over, and here is a magnet, and here is a little envelope, and this is also from the ship, no cutsock cutouts, with a little tag inside, I write a little message or so, and fussy cut, uh, this frame here uh, has a rooster here, and uh, 
then it, I had to cut down on the frame here. So I placed him over. So don't uh, throw away your frames if you do fussy cutting. You can use them for so much fun. So inside here is a tag and another uh, envelope or uh, I'm not sure what to call it. Uh, coin or tag envelope. And here is a frame from a stamp that I cut out. So, and like so on the back. And now for the last uh, pages here. And here I have some secret rooms. I <laughs> like to put that in my albums. So um, here is a little tag that goes out like so. And here I glued two of these together. So it creates a pocket. It also has a magnet so it holds this down. And uh, this can be taken out. So you can place a photo under here. It's also loose here. And it flips up like so. And here are from the sticker sheets and some bees I cut out. And a photo map behind here. And here is a French country again. So I made this as a pocket. So now for the last here. Here I have uh, also a frame that I flipped the other side and here are some stamps that I uh, uh, covered up with some flowers and the ink tipped up and here is a couple of tags and also postcards. Let's see if I can get it out here. So, and this I covered with uh, some different stamps here. So. This, on this page I didn't have any other uh, yellow, so I decided to, to do like so. And uh, here you can uh, put the photo inside, and that's the tag. Like so. So then you can slide it out. And here's some journaling. And uh, you can also put a photo inside here. So that was the hidden pocket here. So this was my album. Oops, and, uh, there will be a nine-part uh, video tutorial on this. Maybe I have to make it as A and B in each um, part because they are a bit long. I'll see what I do. So um, hope it's a bit inspiring and that you can maybe use uh, some of the ideas. I myself had a really fun time creating this and do all the fussy cutting. This paper just ask for fussy cutting. But if you don't like it, you can use all the shipboard and cutouts. It's a lot of uh, stickers you can use to create your album. So thank you so much for watching everyone and I wish you all a happy and a great day. Take care. Bye bye.